Hi students, welcome back. Today in this session, I want to explain you how to install the Anaconda Jupiter in your system. So this is uh, an IDE where you can write your Python language. Uh, so before uh, start writing the, Pyth the Python language, you can write in the command prompt as well as you can use one, any one of the IDE. So this Anac uh, Anaconda Jupiter, here we are going to get a notebook. In that notebook, you are going to write to your programs. Uh, it is easy to write in ID rather than when compared to the command prompt okay so let's start off installing this anaconda jupiter open the google chrome there you need to type the anaconda jupiter select repo site so the repo site uh, it's a site site name repo.continuum.io so better select this option uh, because this is the most popular python data science platform this anaconda uh, installer uh, Click on this Anaconda distribution reposi repository. So this is the page that you will get whenever you click on that uh, hyperlink. Select the Anaconda installers. View all installers. So you will get the different file names. So based on your operating system and based on your microprocessor, you need to select which type of Anaconda installer will support your system. So mine is a Windows 10 operating system. It's a Windows X 86 bit and 64 bit microprocessor. So let's select the uh, Anaconda 3. So this is the latest version where the Anaconda uh, three I'm going to install because I want to work on a Python 3.6 version so this is an excellent version which supports all the machine learning and the deep learning libraries so better you need to select the Anaconda 35.3.1 so Anaconda 35 35.3.1 mine is a Windows X 86 and a 64 bit so I need to select this file so based on your system configuration you can select your uh, is whether it is a Windows operating system or Linux operating system or Mac OS X we are using whatever operating system you are using okay so I'm clicking on this so whenever I click on this this file is going to be downloaded uh, I already downloaded this file so which is there in my downloads so I'm just selecting that So click on next. You have to accept the license agreement. Okay. So three. Uh, yes. So it's asking install for just me or all users. So you need to select just me. Recommend. Click on next. And this is a window where you need to choose the installation location. So better don't change the destination folder because the Anaconda is will install in it will work on the C drive users folder. Okay, so just click on next. So actually already I had installed so that's why that message is already came. So don't bother about it. So this is advanced options. Add Anaconda to my path environment variable. Register Anaconda as my default Python 3.6. So in better you need to select this option because this register Anaconda whatever you are installing it is it, it will act as a default Python 3.7. Okay. Install. So it just takes uh, several minutes to install this Anaconda files so it taking a two to three minutes of time to install the Anaconda 35.3.164 bit setup so meanwhile we'll see about uh, we'll discuss about what is exactly the python is we, everyone knows the python is a general purpose language and it is an interpreted object oriented high level language okay and it also supports the procedural language just like uh, java uh, it's a python is also uh, acts as a procedural language uh, do you know students uh, actually the python was introduced uh, at 1989 Whereas Java was introduced at 1995. Even though the Python introduced earlier, everyone is focused on Java. But now, whenever the artificial intelligence machine learning came into 
world the scientists don't want to spend more time on programming like uh, programming the code everything whereas java needs more programming so they shifted to easy language that to implement artificial intelligent is python so that's why the python is uh, even though it was started earlier when compared to the java but now again the python is going to started everyone is learning the python because the python is easy to implement artificial intelligence programming that is a machine level language programs uh, sorry machine learning not the machine level sorry it's a machine learning every artificial intelligence machine learning came into this world so uh, uh, this is a python language where we don't require uh, to write so much of code whereas in the java for each and every step we need to write a lots of programming so that the most of the time is wasting there so the scientists want to spend more time on programming so that's why they are shifted to easy language that is implemented the artificial intelligent is a python so python is a easy programming language when compared to c c++ and java okay it's easy programming language so many big organizations uses a python languages like google youtube dropbox whatever you have taken these all the sites they are uh, working on this python language only so i hope you understand what I, why we are using the python when compared to the java uh, even though we are having the java c c++ why we are shifting to the python because the python does not require much programming to implement all the directives libraries are already present in this python language so based on writing the code for everything we can use the library functions and you can implement so the most of the artificial intelligence and the machine learning will work on the python language only so still it is uh, installing the sorry let's wait few more minutes it's almost done so my uh, anaconda is go install all the files in the c drive with user space my name anaconda 3 so in that anaconda 3 folder these all supporting libraries and the files are going to be installed so it it's almost takes 2 uh, to 3 minutes to install this anaconda 3 5.3.1 setup so python language is very easy when compared to the other languages so far you had seen the c lang learn the c language c++ java dotnet everything you had learned but this uh, python language is somewhat different it's a small difference will be there writing the code but it is very easy means everyone can understand this, uh, the way uh, the statements that we are writing in this python language so that's why we call it as one of the user friendly also this python language and uh, almost all uh, the supporting libraries are there okay so after installing we'll get this command dot exe so we will get we will after installing everything we will uh, we will get a uh, jupiter we we have to launch the jupiter notebook they there we we have we are going to write our python language so its installation is completed setup was completely successful completed and successfully click on next so he it is asking you you want if you want to install the visual studio code you can select the installation otherwise you can skip it so thanks for installing anaconda 3 this is the most popular python data science platform so if you want to share your notebooks pack packages projects and environments and anaconda cloud just click on finish so whenever i click on the finish i'm getting it's 
user guide so and this is everything on this documentation will be there if you want you can go, uh, go through this documentation and anaconda cloud this is uh, if you want to store your files in the cloud you can sign up in this okay so now let's see uh, let's launch our jupyter notebook so go to the start menu and here you can see your anaconda 364 bit it's a new thing whatever you install so in this just click on the navigator so whenever you click on this navigator a page will be open it just it's take a few seconds to open that uh, navigator so in that we need to launch the jupyter notebook so in that jupyter notebook we are going to write our python language python code So just wait. You are getting the symbol like this. This is the Anukunda symbol. It's a a Jupiter. So this is the Anukunda navigator. Uh, whenever you open, thanks for installing Anukunda. Click on OK. and whatever the thing uh, id you want you can install here so this is a jupyter notebook 5.6.0 so the, uh, you have to launch this jupyter notebook in this we are writing our ja python language code and here the r studio is also there if you want you can install the r studio you can uh, there you can write your r language so r and the python both are used for the artificial uh, intelligence and this machine learning uh but but r will not support that much for the deep learning whereas the jupyter notebook and this uh, python language will work for machine learning artificial intelligence as well as the deep learning so let me launch this jupyter notebook 5.6.0 So this 5.6.0 will support works on my Python 3.6 version, which is an excellent version which supports all the machine learning and the deep learning libraries also. So whenever I click on this, uh, so this is my page, the local host a uh, page where uh, whenever you launch launch your Jupyter notebook, this is the page you will get. Okay, so these are all all the files that are present in this Jupyter notebook. If you want to create a new file, go for new file and click on the Python three. Then a page will be open. So, so this is a Jupyter notebook, and here this is this you call it as a cells. In this cell, you are going to type your program. So you can type each statement in one cell. After that, again insert another cell. Again, you can insert another cell like that. Or else, if you want to write your complete program here, you can write in a single cell also. Better rather than writing everything on a single cell, you just go for the multiple cell so that the for loop, if conditions, these the space can be adjusted. And if you want to run the program, click on this run, and the program you will get the output. okay and here the file option will be there you can save the file rename the file everything okay and this is a kernel where you can restart your uh, again whatever the program you have written and if you want to clear the output you can clear everything if you want to reconnect to the server you can use that so these are all the menus that are present in this jupiter and uh, see here so if you want already some files or you already created some files dot x uh, xls files or cvs files if you want to use those files you can click on upload and select wherever the files that are present and you can uh, upload into your location so where you are writing your python code so this is about uh, the python uh, means uh, the anukunda jupiter id so which is going to be used for writing your python language so this is a notebook where you are going to write your python code and executing the programs i hope you understand how to install this jupyter uh, anaconda jupyter so in the coming sessions we will see a uh, programs uh, on python language we'll start with the basics and we will work on each and every concept in the python language i hope you understand everything a happy installation hope 
that will work in your system thanks a lot bye